I want to demonstrate a candle powered radio. Now, uh, the technology behind this uses a device called a Peltier cell, uh, which is uh, available uh, off the internet now very cheaply. Uh, and the Peltier effect, if you heat one side, uh, if you pass a current through the, uh, the device, one side gets hot and the other side gets cold. Heat is pumped from one side to the other. Now these can be used in reverse, uh, and it's called the Seebeck effect, um, which means that if you heat one side and cool the other, the heat flow from the hot side to the cold surface generates a voltage and a current will flow uh, from these devices. Now if these are placed in a, in a, in a lamp, this lamp was obtained um, as a Moroccan style standard lamp, and the heat generator which will be described uh, in a few minutes, um, is bolted onto the side here. Um, we then place a uh, lighted candle into the, uh, into the uh, generator and then connect up a voltmeter to the device like that. And as the heat flows from this hot inner surface to the outer surface, a voltage is generated. To get more power out of these uh, machines, two, um, two candles can be used. One. Two. And it takes a few minutes to come up to temperature. While this is coming up to temperature, I will now describe um, the radio that you want to use. Uh, these are obtained for about uh, six or seven pounds. They're uh, multi-band radios. But the important factor about this radio is it runs off three volts, just two cells. And um, also there is a, a socket at the back which enables you to uh, run it from an external power supply with 3 volt supply. Now important things to remember when you buy these radios is that some of them the centre pin is negative and some of this model the, the centre pin is positive. And uh, so make sure you get the polarity correct. So that plugs in there. This then cable then places into the... and connects into our lantern. And then we, when we're up to voltage, we switch it on. Another use for this power uh, generator is to actually convert the heat from the candle and convert that heat directly into light. Now the voltage generated here can be then used to drive a very high powered LED uh, which is equivalent to um, a 20 candle power light. So, and this is an example of it uh, here. So, um, this is the actual how it all works. This is the, um, these are heat sinks from old computers. And these are Peltier devices, which are obtained off eBay for a very low price. This is a heat compound, a heat sink compound, uh, which is electrically insulating, but provides a good thermal transmission property. We, sprinkle, we spread this over the, uh, the surface here and place the Peltier devices on there like so. We then place some more heat sink compound on the top and spread that over the surface as well. Now this heat sink is um, rather useful for the candle uh, part of the, um, the generator because it's got large vanes in there with gear gaps so you want a good air flow but the heat to be uh, transmitted into the heat sink. Um, if you, you get a restricted air flow the candle will start to soot and um, not burn correctly. Now um, ideally you want the screws that fit this onto the, um, the top part of the uh, pelty devices should be thermally insulated. The ideal ones would be ceramic, 
Um, however, if you use very small, thin, uh, these are two millimeter screws, um, the loss is negligible really over the uh, whole surface of this um, of this device. So these then screw onto the um, onto the thing. And, uh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, these two wires connect together so that the two Peltier devices are in series and therefore increasing the voltage. The candle flame passes through here and the heat is transferred to this heat sink which gets hot. The heat then transfers across the devices to the, uh, the main large heat sink where it's dissipated. So this is the hot end and this is the cold end. And that's how the, uh, the generator works.